guys and welcome back to amy tv today i have a different video for you guys today is my first nail tutorial so i'm really excited about that and if you like this video make sure to give it a big big thumbs up and if you're not already make sure to click that red button down below and subscribe to my channel and leave any questions comments concerns down in the comment box so yeah let's just get started we're gonna start off with nude nails and then I use 100% acetone to get rid of my old nail polish. I just find that it's more effective. So that's why I like to use some lotion afterwards, just so my skin doesn't get all dry. And then the next step is we're just gonna file our nails down to whatever shape we want. I prefer almond and square, but you can do any kind of shape that you like. So yeah. Just gonna tell you guys that I'm not a professional when it comes to filing my nails, so this is just the way I do it. You don't have to do it that way at all. Whatever suits your boat. So yeah, here we go. I am done. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need some dotting tools and a thin brush. It can be any thin brush you have. So I'm using a black nail polish, white, clear base coat, and a yellow polish. And lastly, we're going to also use a red polish. Okay guys, so let's just get started. First thing I did was stencil like kind of like the Pooh Bear that I wanted just so I had like a reference to look at while I was doing my nails. Next thing that I'm going to do is apply base coat to all of my nails. I already did it to one hand so I'm just going to go ahead and do it to my other hand. And for base coat I like to use Sally Hansen Maximum Growth or any Sally Hansen product. I don't know I find that they're more effective than the other ones that I've tried. So yeah I try to get that one. I think base coat is like so important because I do my nails regularly and if I don't use it, they get yellowish. So that's definitely something you don't want. Never. So yeah, here I am done with my base coat. Next thing we're going to do is take this white polish or any white polish that you have and just do a base color. And I'm just adding white in order to make the yellow brighter just because the yellow polish that I have isn't too bright and it's more shiny and glittery so i just wanted to make it like more of a yellow tone by putting white as a base color but if you have a really bright yellow you definitely can sub it and not use the white one whatsoever now for our ring finger we're just gonna do like half an oval sort of like an almond and we're not gonna go all the way down to a cuticle just make leave enough space to make winnie pooh's ears so approximately this much and make sure you get the edges i forgot one edge so i went back and i just filled it in so yeah just like that and all of the other four nails are going to be just plain white and yeah you guys sorry about this nail right here it's really short just because for mother's day i used this like box opener and i like slashed half of my nail away so this is where it's finally up to which is the reason why i haven't uploaded nail tutorials because it looks really bad <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna take a bigger dotting tool for the eye for the ears and so yeah i'm just gonna take some white and we're just gonna put the ears carefully trying to zoom in for you guys if it's too small, you can just go over it. Just be gentle and add some more nail polish along the way. And you guys, look how cute those look. Oh my god! Starting to see Pooh Bear already. So I actually just want to dip it into that acetone just to remove the white polish because we are using it again now i'm just gonna go ahead and use a thin brush to clear the excess white polish around my cuticle because apparently i don't know how to paint my nails So the next thing we're going to do is once they're completely dry, we're going to add the yellow, whichever yellow you have. This is not my personal favorite, but like I said, I don't really have any other ones because I don't really like yellow. So 
if it's not too yellow i i would recommend going at going and adding a second coat but i thought this was good enough but if you do add another one make sure to let every single coat dry completely so then for our ring finger we're just gonna do the oval again just over the oval and we we're just gonna go gently over the ears and that's how it looks so amazing and then once again i'm just gonna take my thin brush and we're just gonna clean the excess nail polish carefully gently you can always leave this until the end but i just prefer to do it along the way so now we're just gonna take i have this a black thin nail art nail polish but if you have just regular black you could definitely use a thin brush if you have and we're just gonna take the thinner dotting tool side and we're just gonna use it in order to start making the eyes so i just did all the eyes at once like i didn't go like finishing each nail one by one i just did it as i went along They look kind of weird right now. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. We our first hands finished. Now our second one. I'm sorry about my hair there. I just like to dip it on top of the nail polish remover cap if you haven't noticed. So then we're just going to take that just to have it ready. And you're just going to do the nose using the small dot again. But this time we're sort of going to like trace a triangle just to make it more triangle-ish. So it looks more like a nose. And you want to make sure to leave enough space for the line that Pooh Bear has on top of his nose. Which is his nose. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm just going to take the brush that actually comes with the black nail art. And I'm just going to do the eyebrows. And I, I kept looking at the stencil just for reference because I, I got a little confused so yeah just gonna do all of them at once oh my god i can totally see Pooh bear now now we're gonna go on to our next hand And once we are done with that, we're just going to take our brush again, black, and we're just going to do the line that's right above his nose, right under his eyes. Yeah, this finishes up his nose. Oh my god, so cute. I'm just look at that. And I just went ahead and I also added his mouth, made a line and added the little lines next to his smile. And get a complete smile. I think making the mouth was probably the hardest out of everything. Never mind, I take it back. It was a song. That was the hardest thing. So yeah, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use any red, red polish or pinkish. And I'm just going to put some on some paper just to have it all ready and do it really quick. So what we're going to do with this is we just, I just made some thongs on Pooh. His tongue is so cute. Just look at it. <laughs> that one's sticking in out more. <laughs> so adorbs. I kind of messed this one up a little, but I fixed it. I managed to fix it. Yay. So now we're done here and this is the result. Just look like how adorable they are, you guys. If you like these nails, make sure to redo them, put it in my Instagram page, tweet them to me, and yeah, you guys, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with everybody you know, you guys. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Oh my god, they just came out so adorable. Definitely do them, especially if you have a poo obsession like me.